Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday and uh, uh, April 2nd. So I hope the guys uh, survived uh, April Fool's Day. So let's jump into it today. It is kind of short and sweet. And uh, we do got some important news later in the week, especially on Friday. We'll have the jobs numbers. Uh, we got Fed minutes, uh, FOMC meeting uh, minutes uh, tomorrow. So we'll get to see what the, what the discussions were and see where their thoughts were. Can I get some perspective as to what the Fed is thinking? So for right now, we're going to jump into the ISM manufacturing. This is the manufacturing numbers overall. And this is for March. And if we had February about 52.4. Uh, we figured it improved about 53.53 and a half, and basically it came in pretty close to forecast, so that was pretty decent. We showed improvement there, even though Chicago one remember kind of disappointed uh, the other week, uh, but the northeast uh, side was looking pretty good. So manufacturing has shown overall improvement, and then we got construction spending for February. Uh, we had negative 0.1% uh, for January. We figured it improve a little bit for February and actually contracted a bit, uh, negative 1.1%. So it went the opposite direction, construction spending, so we got some conflicting reports here. But you got to figure also February is also a good month where there's probably going to be uh, weather conditions that could be you know, not good for construction. So uh, we could put that, so I would kind of wait and see where that comes across, uh, maybe in March, April, I'll see where that comes up, see if we see improvement there. So let's go ahead and jump over to headline news. Uh, essentially, all we got today for headline news would be the stock market's up right now. And then now uh, we'll just jump over to the uh, buy market, see what interest rates are doing. So today, what we could see we're up a little bit today. We start off the day about 12 basis points higher than yesterday, than uh, Friday, as we remember we had uh, we were up quite a bit, touching the 103 level, and then quickly towards uh uh, end of the day, we kind of quickly dropped a lot, so we just settled just above the 100-day moving average. Uh, right now, we're up about 12 basis points, so we're, it looks like we're kind of on our way to t test that 103 ceiling. So, kind of see where we're things at. Uh, as I mentioned, the 103 ceiling is not going to be an easy uh, resistance to get past. So, uh, right now, I would say, depending on where the price changes were yesterday, we could be the same or slightly better where we were uh, on Friday. All right, folks, uh, but if we're looking at in the morning, we we're probably a little bit worse in the morning. So we've had probably about two or three price changes probably on uh, Friday alone. So depending where we're at, you know, uh, but rate, rates are at least about the same or maybe slightly better. All right, folks, have a wonderful day. And uh, please uh, stop on by Mike's DailyMarketReport.com and subscribe to get your free daily updates.